Hey everybody, welcome to the book note. Today we're gonna do the mid-year freak out tag. So the first question is, what is the best book you have read so far this year? Ghoul in the Cape by Josh Mallerman. It's the best book I've ever read. It really <laughs> it was so fantastic and it had so many freaking layers. I have a standalone review for that. I'll link it down below if you're interested in checking that out. Also, I have to also say Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. That book is freaking amazing. And just, it's a, a fantasy romance and it was so magical and so well done and so well written. And it's a duology and the next book comes out, I believe in November of this year. What is the best sequel you've read so far this year? I read one second book in a series. And I thought it was kind of crappy. Uh, it was <laughs> it was the second in the Witcher series, The Sword of Destiny. It was just like a lot of boob groping and talk about boobs and nipples. And it was a bunch of short stories. And I thought it was pretty mediocre and just not that great. There wasn't a best one I read. Like everything else was like, I read a ton of first books in a series. There was not a best sequel I've read this year. I've read 51 books also so far. I guess I should mention that, right? We're doing pretty good, I feel. All right, so the next question. New releases that you want to read. There are a few, and I'm gonna include one that I've already read because it is going to be a new release and you should read it if you like slasher horror. Daphne by Josh Mallerman, it's awesome. Read it, do it. Um, also, The Book Eaters by Sunya Dean, that is a book about these people that eat books and the books taste different depending on the genre and, and they're raised, like the boys eat adventure novels and the girls have like a carefully selected, you know, fairy tales and this and that that they eat. And it's very, the premise sounds really cool. And then like one day, one of the women ends up having a kid so she ends up having a child and the child doesn't end up eating books from what we're here. He ends up eating human minds. So it takes a darker turn. And then another one I'm really excited for that I've pre-ordered, it comes out, I believe July 18th is Lure by Tim McGregor. And it's about this fishing village. Let's see here. I'll read you the little synopsis of it. In the chapel of a forsaken fishing village on another world shore. The sea-washed bones of old gods hang from the rafters. When a new god drifts into the bay, the men folk fear nothing as they reach for their spears. But capturing her may be the last act of their reckless bravado. Her very presence brings dissent and madness. Her voice threatens to tear the starving, angry community apart setting a siege of relentless horror against the backdrop of brine and blood. Lure blurs the line between natural disaster and self-destruction. And I'm very excited to read about that. I think I heard about this book on Twitter, to be honest. And I love books that have underwater environments. And I'm very excited to read this. I'm excited it comes out soon. So when I do read that, there will be a standalone review for that when I get to that one. Next question is, most anticipated to still be released in 2022. Heart of the Sun Warrior by Su Lin Tan because Daughter of the Moon Goddess was one of the best books I've read this year so far. And I'm very excited for the sequel that comes out in November. So that one, super stoked. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Biggest disappointment. So I can't say there was anything that I was super looking forward to that I read and I was like, this sucks. But I did read a short story collection that was just poop. That's right, poop. It was called Out There by Kate Folk. And like the stories were really weird, but they had no heart and soul. It was like, I don't know. I, it was so, everything felt like a rough draft where they forgot to add in. They forgot to give the Tin Man a uh, heart and the Lion courage, you know, and uh, a way to get home. So. Yeah, that was probably my most disappointing book I read because like I read the back and it sounded like it'd be so cool and it wasn't. So that was, yeah, that one. Biggest surprise. My biggest surprise of books this year was reading Cool in the Cape and it being the best book I've ever read. I freaking 
loved it and love it so much. It was such a great book. I hope it comes to mass market so more people can read it. Um, right now it is like a special release and it's a bit pricey. So if you can get it, if you can afford it, I highly recommend it. It's, if you like Josh Mallerman, you like horror, it's fan freaking tantastic New favorite author, Catriona Ward. Last House on Needless Street, Sundial. I just read Little Eve, which comes out in October. And how did I not hear of her before this freaking year? She's amazing. All right, next question is new fictional crush. Like, I think it's weird to have a crush on any kind of character. And I'm like racking my brains and I'm like, okay, who the heck out of all the books I read? Because I read 51. So I have a fictional crush on. And I was like, well, none of them. And then I was like, well, maybe like Samson from Slewfoot, who is not a human and is like a weird pan type horned devil entity. <laughs> but I'm weird. Whatever. I guess if I had to choose one, screw the rest of <laughs> the human population. Uh, anyway, I don't know. Give me an old ancient god to have a crush on. All right, so new favorite character. Well, I couldn't just choose one. Honestly, Ghoul and the Cape, both of them. I loved them so much. And Medley, the car from Ghoul and the Cape. Those two are my favorite new favorite characters. And there's also like all these other fantastic characters in the story, but I can't choose the, every character in the book. So those two, just their personas and how they were and that they were the friends that you didn't know you needed until you met them. All right, so next is a book that made you cry. So I read the first book in the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, and that book made me laugh, it made me cry, and it was so good. And I actually have uh, the second book just came in at the library and I have to go get it. I'm not gonna get it today, maybe tomorrow. A book that made you happy. I don't know. Books evoke all kinds of emotions. Like, I love Daughter of the Moon Goddess, so that book made me happy. It was like, I mean, there was like struggles and sadness and, you know, it was about this strong woman who kicks butt. It was so magical and such a beautiful read. I mean, it's a book I think about and I guess it makes me happy. What really makes one happy? Puppies, kitties, hugs from friends, seeing people you haven't seen in a long time. I don't know, like delicious food. A good freaking book will make me happy. Anyway, <laughs> that's a long rambly answer. All right, so next, most beautiful book you've bought this year. And that is The Winter Garden by Alexandra Bell. Like, look at this cover. It's so pretty. Freaking love it. That is the most beautiful book that I have bought this year. And this one I picked up because the paper traveler recommended it and it was such a good read. I loved it. I loved it. All right. So now what do you want to read before 2022 ends? Whatever book struck my fancy. <laughs> Obviously Heart of the Sun Warrior by Sue Lin Tan. Uh, I want to read that book Lure that I mentioned. There's I have so many books that I could just list off and ramble, but a lot of it will be whatever I do, like kind of feel like reading and probably a lot of horror and some fantasy sprinkled in there. The one I'm most looking forward to is probably Heart of the Sun Warrior by Sue Lin Tan. And then, okay, what else? Okay, so favorite community members. Why they gotta make us choose favorites? So I've probably mentioned most of these people a bunch of times already, but some of my favorite booktubers are the Jeff Word. He's weird and awesome. And he does like um, unboxings of like the fancy release books. And then I also really like Kim, the paper traveler. She is a ray of sunshine. She's amazing. She likes a variety of books. Also, Kristen Craves Books. She's another fantastic booktuber. If you haven't had the chance to check her out, she reads a great variety of books as well. Uh, typical books, horror-based, awesome selection of books all the time. Stuff I've never heard of. Just, I found some really great horror reads through her. Man with a Hat who reads, me and him have like very similar taste in books. So I like watching his videos. 
and I've got a few on my list that I need to pick up that he's mentioned. Oh, there's so freaking many people. I could just sit here and rattle off a bunch of names, but those are the ones that pop into my head that I really enjoy. So if you haven't had a chance to check them out yet, you definitely should. I will link them all below. So you guys like talking about books? Because if you do, I do have a Discord. The link is down below as well. We talk about books, food, paranormal stuff, all kinds of weird things. Also, if you like tag videos, I will have another tag video coming up next. We'll be right here somewhere once this video ends. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today in the book nook. If you had fun hanging out, boop that like button. Come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish stuff. So until next time, we'll see you later. All right, bye. <laughs>